So we're at this location. Now we are. So, oh, now we're rolling? All right, so we're at this location. This is an awesome spot, especially on a Saturday on a day like this, where people bring their toys. And we happen to be having an impromptu overland bound meetup and we ran into Jack. And as soon as we saw Jack and what he was driving, everybody freaked out and we all said, Jack, you gotta stop. And so now we're talking to Jack and we're talking about the McFly Back to the Future 87, 87, yes, 80, yes. 87 SR5. Take a look at this thing. Bam, just like that. And we just about lost it. So. Now, when I saw the movie, of course, everybody likes the DeLorean. The DeLorean is awesome. But when I saw this thing at the end of the movie, I just about lost it. Oh. I mean, this is just such an iconic vehicle. Same thing here. You know, I don't know if it was because of all the lights, the roll bar, yeah. maybe because it was a lifted 4x4. I, I don't know what it was because yeah. everybody, yes, they, everybody focused on the on the time machine. Yeah. But I don't know, it's just something about that, hey, check out that 4x4, is just what really got me yeah. into it. But you can go to the lake with this with Jennifer Park. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that in the DeLorean. You're, gonna, you're just gonna get stuck. You're just gonna get stuck. Oh, that is awesome. All right, now let's take a look at this thing. Um, this is, like you said, it's a, it's the 87. 87. 80, 80, 87 SR. SR5. And um, this has the, the, the famous 22R. This is a 22RE. RE, four cylinder. Four cylinder, okay. Yes. Is there any chance we might be able to look under the hood? Oh yes, or the what is this? Up. It's gotta be 60 horsepower. Uh, 60 horsepower Jerry, and then some. Yeah. Uh, the stock, I think they come at about between 90, yep. 90 to 110 horsepower. Well, this thing is just beautiful, look at that. I've uh, put some headers and a full yep. exhaust system mm -hmm. in it, so that gives me a couple extra ponies to go up the hill mm -hmm. in the wind. Yep. And completely did stock. You, did you re it's completely stock? Completely stock. Okay. My friends and I, we rebuilt the motor. Yep. The only thing in addition, what we did to the motor to kind of uh, give it a little more pep was the exhaust system. Uh-huh. What do you know about the bumper? Can you tell me about the bumper? This is a tubular, smitty-built bumper. Yep. Okay. Very hard to find. Mm -hmm. At least find in the right condition, that is. Yep. Uh, after all, you know, I'm doing a restoration, so I want it to be perfect. No dust, no dents. None of that because I want to get it powder coated, as you can see, and I want it to be as straight as it This thing is really beautiful. The one thing I notice is that the uh, just the the bodywork is perfectly straight. I mean, it's really it's really nice. Beautiful. I mean, you know, when I picked up this truck, there was about 25 years plus of wear and tear, dings, dents, rust, and you know they were able to take a look at it and say, yes, we can go ahead and do it. And with yep. our vast knowledge of the Toyota pickups, mm -hmm. is another reason why I picked that shop as well to cool. get it all straight. Yeah. Cool. Do you have? Um, uh, what did you do to the suspension? Is it stock suspension? This is all stock it, suspension. Yeah. Look at the, I mean, just the natural clearance. It looks like it's really, really good. And how about the wheels? Did you buy them? Yes. Now, did you buy those? Did you find those? No, no. Of course, you know, I found them on yep. uh, Summit Racing. Uh -huh. These are the US Wheel 94 Black Series, 15 by 8. Mm -hmm. And I got them for a good price. Yeah, good deal. Good deal. Now, tell us, uh, what should we know about um, the interior of your rig? Uh, the interior was all redone by yours truly. This is, uh, so you did, uh, what kind of bed liner did you do? This is Rhino bed? Liner. Oh, it's Rhino Liner, okay. Yeah. Yeah. On a Rhino Liner, you can just beat the hell out of this, and you know, you won't affect the paint. What are those spotlights? Uh, those are the KC uh, six inch spotlights. So tell me about the roll bar. So the roll bar is also Smitty built. Uh, yep. Double tubular uh, roll bar, or if not, uh, what you want to call a light stand, because it's more of a light stand than it is a roll bar. Mm -hmm. uh, I picked this up from a guy in Watsonville that came off this 83 Toyota pickup. Wow. And this came off an 86 Toyota pickup. Okay. So I had to drive about 200 miles plus just to pick up this bumper. Yeah. Really, really hard to find. So if uh, I was to get into an accident, I'll be very, very sad. <laughs> so would the other person. 
And um, so you talked to some of the, the original cast members. I did. Yeah, I did. That was uh, that was amazing. I got to talk to the Jennifer Parker, yep. Claudia Wells. Yeah. Uh, we filmed a small little promo for the 30th anniversary. Cool. Got to hang out with her. Yep. She got to sit in the truck. She got to check out the four x four. We went up to the lakes, so, uh, you know, so to speak, in <laughs> our in our little promo video. So awesome. Very yep. wonderful, down to earth. Cool. young lady and she was uh, generous enough to add her signature onto my truck yep i have leah thompson lorraine baines uh, lorraine baines the mom yep and mr christopher lloyd oh, Doc wow. brown himself <laughs> like you do uh now let me ask you you got uh you got three coats of wax on that thing uh, well, I don't know. I think that Biff guy conned me. I think he put more of a half wax on here. You're going to have to contact him. I'm going to have to give him a call. That's right. Yeah. Jack, thank you so much for sharing your rig. It's, it's a pleasure, man. Thank you very much. Uh, Everybody, thank you very much. Yeah. I really do appreciate it. All right. It puts a smile on my face every cool. time. Cool.